Capricorn, hi. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is your um, your deep spiritual reading for the week. And yeah, you didn't, there's no punches being held on this one either, Capricorn, let me tell you. So you've got, uh, we're bringing out the Shaman Oracle deck. Really beautiful, wonderful messages. Um, I do pre-shuffle. And I pull out a couple of cards. The first one is what you're moving away from or what you should move away from. I got an interesting message and it's the same one that I got from Sagittarius. Everyone else, the message was when I was shuffling for the first card is what should so-and-so sign move away from. Sagittarius and you both had, no, they are moving away from this. So I'm like, okay, that's good. Interesting. So that, yeah, you got that. You're kind of leading the leading my reading again, Cap. It's okay. And um, then you got the card that you're moving towards. <laughs> deep Capricorn, it's always so deep. You know, I think I'm getting to know you guys a lot better than a lot of people ever know Capricorn. Cause you know, Capricorn is often seen as the, you know, the banker, the, um, the workaholic, the project manager, the, um, you know, inventor. This is all amazing, wonderful things, but they're three dimensional. There is such a deep spiritual side to Capricorn that people don't realize. And I think though, because Capricorn has often such an ability in this three dimensional realm is because you understand your spiritual side so well, right? You're in connection, you're, you're working with both. The birds are a little loud there, sorry. Um, okay, let's get into it Cap. So, the vision quest is what you're moving away from right now. Now there's a multi message that comes in with you on this. Um, you know, the vision quest is about looking deep within. Uh, you guys do that. You know that. You're the ones that got the very first starseed card that I'd ever pulled out and gave me interesting messages quite a while ago. This is feeling a little bit like this as we get into these cards. And these are from the Shaman, which is a completely different deck. There's no starseed in this really, but the... The message is kind of interesting. So you're pulling away from the vision quest. So let's give a little uh, look who, look boo here. Um, this is what you're pulling away from, right? So think about that as I read it. Think about it as I read it. And it's a cycle change. It's not like you're pulling away from this forever. It's right now, right now. Um, in the vision quest, you face your fear, embrace your mortality, and then meet face to face with spirit. When we feel stagnant, a vision quest brings our lives into perspective. We realize our flaws, our potential, and the opportunities life is now offering us. We remain on a vision quest until we find the key to open a new door or write a new chapter in our lives. Perfect. Bang. Ah, I love it. Um, so it's interesting here because at the bottom of the vision quest card, sorry, we're in black today and I can see all my white hairs on it. Um, spirit has been trying to get, yeah, so this is the interesting part here. This is the medicine part of the card. So there's the essence, the invitation and the medicine. And I go through this and really feel which, what is pulling me and your, what is pulling the message out for you. So when I read the medicine, I thought this really sounds like why you're kind of moving out of this vision quest. So spirit has been trying to contact you, but receive no answer. <laughs> Capricorn's busy. I'm busy making money, man. <laughs> you are too busy with your life and there is too much noise inside your head. Do not miss the call again. <laughs> so, you know, they're calling you. They're, oh, missed calls. I'm too busy. Leave a message. <laughs> Make room for quiet time this evening. Allow yourself to become bored for a little while and you'll be able to hear the important message trying to get through. <laughs> I think that is just comical, isn't it? Like, that is cute. <laughs> You just see spirits like, I've been calling you all day. Where have you been, Capricorn? You haven't answered any of my calls. Okay, so now that takes us to where you're going. So I feel like you're moving out of this vision quest because spirit is like, this is not, so we're not getting, we're not connecting. We're not connecting the way we want to connect with you is what I'm hearing. Because I'm going to hear, I'm, I know, I can already hear it. It's, it's like I hear the, the comments. As they're being typed, going into my head, I can already hear, I am so connected with spirit, and you might be. This might be a different spirit guide. It might be uh, a spirit guide you deal with all the time that has a different different plan here. 
So the ancient ones is what you're moving towards. It's getting a little bit deeper for you. I hate that when I have like a bird background playing and an ad comes, sorry. Um, so this is like the ancient ones. This is the deeper. Oh, and it is card number one. Wow, card number one. And this is funny because this is almost at the end. Is that the last one? 16? No, 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 no. It, okay, but it's near the end, so, which is funny. You're kind of going backwards. Yeah, see, so we got Fishing Quest from 60. Go back to Ancient Ones here. Ancient Ones have something to say. <laughs> ancient Ones have got to plan here for you. The Ancient well, this is like that old, old soul energy. Really old soul energy. Because it's number one. It is number one. <clears throat> Here you go. I'm going to read her for you. This is what you're moving towards. This is what you're being asked and guided to go towards. The ancient ones are the shamans of old who defeated death and escaped from the tyranny of time. The ancient ones once walked the earth like us in flesh and bone. Now they reside in infinity and can counsel us after we say yes to our calling. They are available to help us attain our full realization. So I feel like this, yeah, like that starseed thing here, full realization. Yeah, I don't think that, I think the invitation is what I feel, yes, the invitation is what I really feel like is the, so that was the essence. So the invitation of this card, the ancient ones are inviting you to reach to the future to help birth a new destiny for the earth. It's always you guys, Capricorn. I don't know. You guys have really broad shoulders or something because it's like crazy. You guys get some heavy stuff. It's like, come on, Cap. Let's get up. Let's get on with it. Come on. You know, you have to save the earth. What are you doing? Come on. Go ahead. Find out who you are, you are becoming 10,000 years from now. If you accept the invitation, great power and blessings will come your way and allow you to craft a new destiny for yourself. Do not hesitate to bite off more than you can chew because you have unlimited spiritual resources available right now. I really, <laughs> I am not worthy. I am not worthy. I'm having like a Mike Myers moment here in, uh, what was that movie called? <laughs> not worthy. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. And, and to beat that, the underline is the lower world. This is what's pushing that. This is for me, you know, this card is typically about the shadow work within, but I'm not feeling like that. I'm feeling like some of you are going into deeper energies of the earth itself. Like, this is going to sound weird, but it almost feels like um, going into caves, going into those dark areas in the woods where people don't go and feeling an energy that most people don't want to feel. They don't want to go into it. Because there's something very ancient there, but it's waiting to be unearthed. <laughs> it's feeling like a movie. Like, honestly, the energy that's coming through in this reading, Capricorn, is very interesting. <laughs> it's very, very interesting. And I know, you know, the message isn't for me. I'm not a Capricorn. I don't think I have an ounce of Capricorn in my chart. I'm a Capricorn wannabe. I don't think. But again, most of you know my grandfather was a Capricorn, and he was one of the best men I ever knew. So... I love Capricorn. I love your energy. I love everyone who has Capricorn in it because you are strong individuals and um, you're no shit people. I don't take any shit from anyone, which is good. People know where they stand with you. And I think that's why the ancient ones are knocking on the door. Spirit's like, I've been calling Capricorn all day. They just won't listen to me. It's like, okay, the ancient ones are coming in. We're going to take them deep deep into the woods and deep into the caves of earth here. And they're going to find a new destiny that brings them 10,000 years into the future. All right. For anyone that's never been on my channel before, you're probably like, is this a tarot reading? You know what? There's so many typical tarot readings out there. You're going to find lots of them. This is fun. This is more interesting, isn't it? It gets into some deep stuff. So... I am now working with the tarot though. So a thorough tarot, a thorough visions tarot deck. I love this very art deco. Ooh, my la la. My favorite new deck. Been working it all week for you, Capricorn. Working it in, getting it ready for Capricorn reading. 
vision quest. <laughs> I still, I keep getting this vision of like there's three or four um, spirit guides sitting around. They're yours. They're sitting around and it's like um, a switchboard. Oh, that was weird. Well, I didn't even ask Siri to. That was creepy. Siri just came out of my phone. Oh gosh, it's the spirit guides. Maybe it is, right? Like they've been knocking, they've been phoning. Because I said it's like a switchboard. They've been trying to contact you. I have still not got into Capricorn. No. So I'm asking, I'm asking now. I know I'm being really funny and silly. It's been, um, it's because it's this a lot of energy all week during these deeper spiritual readings and we're on the last one Capricorn. <laughs> so why? Why are your spirit guides just saying we're done with the vision quest with Capricorn? Why are they done? Why are they done with you in the vision quest? <laughs> you have beaten them down. They're just done. They're finished. They're like, this is no way to communicate to Capricorn. I can't do it anymore. I swear to goodness. This is funny. And you know, some people will get upset at me. Actually, Capricorn usually doesn't. You guys are pretty good. Um, some guys will be like, you know, that is very unprofessional, your reading. And you don't take what you're doing seriously. You don't take my situation seriously. I do, but you have to remember that where does humor come from? Oh, what is humor? Was it Seinfeld that defined humor or was that on MASH? I can't remember. This is where I get all my knowledge, right? And expertise. So I think humor was defined on TV as um, it is tragedy times time, tragedy plus time. So it's always tragic. We have to laugh at what is tragic. And and I really feel very strongly that spirit guides, particularly mine, have a, a wicked sense of humor. You know, they're always yanking my chain. So um, I feel like you guys have been yanking their chain a bit is what I'm really feeling here. And I think it's kind of cute because they're equals to us. And we're just having a three dimensional experience right now. That was weird. There was, there's only ever one box on my screen that is moving around and focusing for the first time ever, two boxes came on the screen. Something was focusing over here. That really creeped me out while it was focusing on my head. Oh God, I'm giving myself the heebie-jeebies. Okay, nine of wands. Yeah, your spirit guides are just like, this has been really tiresome. We need to move on to a whole new level here with Capricorn. We need to get these guys going. They have um, <laughs> the 10 of wands. Spirit, yeah, your spirit guides are dropping this burden. They're dropping this burden with you. I really feel very strongly like your spirit guides are trying to communicate to you. They're taking you on a new path. Maybe you're not listening. You haven't been picking up the phone. As I can hear a phone in the background in the house ringing. The synchronicities in this are so weird. With Siri coming on my phone, that second box appearing... On the screen, I'm gonna watch this video. It was like there was something was there. Never had that happen. Two boxes appear on the screen before simultaneously in different spots. <sighs> okay, we know they're frustrated. Let's get into the ancient ones before I turn this into an hour long video. Ancient ones, let's get more detail. Mm. I think like there's been a lot of thought here. And I don't want to say just in you. I'm feeling very strongly like this message is directed to you from your spirit guides. I feel I, I don't feel like that this is going to be one of those messages about, um, you know, the energy coming towards you is a new start and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a career. There's a job opportunity. It's, I, I feel like this is an open forum. I really do because there's some weird stuff going on around me right now um, for someone in particular or whoever's coming to this video with your spirit guides. Um, they're feeling there. And I feel like this is, yeah, this is like the, um, in all seriousness, it does feel like they have been not been able to communicate to you for some time for something for, yeah, the seven of cups too, right? This is about trying to get clarity. I, I'm feeling like you're needing clarity. Come on, focus on the card. Focus on the card. Just play games with it there. This mask is coming off. The skull is going to be dropped. It's going to be a death moment, a new beginning here. Um, there is a whole new way of communicating with you. And I am getting a strong message about, um, you know, deeper, darker places within nature. Deeper, darker places within nature. 
and sitting and being still in those spaces. Whether it's a cave, please be safe, sure that it's a safe cave. Um, dark places within the forest. Dark places within the ocean. There's dark places and there's energy there for you. There's clarity there. It feels like, this is the best way to describe it now. This is what's coming through. The best way to describe it is, and it did resonate with what was said about this vision card at one point, like you got, you're so busy. Your life is so busy right now. There's so much energy around you that they can't penetrate that and they can't communicate to you. So these deeper, darker places on earth where most people don't go, there isn't even a lot of animal life in those areas because the energy there is, is not necessarily high. It's not that there's anything bad there, but the energy is low. So it does sort of repel or other, others will walk around or keep going. But because of that, it is a, like a, a, a place where your spirit guides, the ancient ones, can connect with you. Because there's no interference. Like the phone line they've been trying to talk to you on, there's a lot of interference and you're not getting the message and it's not coming through. But, oh wow, this is such a neat message. There's those spaces for you right now are like an open phone line between you and these older spirit guides. It's like a different set of spirit guides that's coming through here because, you know, the spirit guides that you're usually like, this is all light. It's all light. It's all love. It's love. They don't go into these dark areas in the forest. They don't. These ones don't have a problem with it. They created the dark areas in the forest. Thank you very much. So it is kind of going into theirs, um, their domain. What message is the Ancient Ones bringing to you? If I can get any sort I mean, I think it's going to be very personal. Wow, the King of Cups. They will be bringing towards you messages of love. So they are coming from a space of love, which makes sense. It's a spirit guide. They are coming from a space of love. Um, and they're going to be sharing this with you on a very communal basis. Like, this is very co-creative energy. And I feel that this is the message, though. The, and you are one to hold this. You are one to guide this, you know, as you move forward in your community and making changes and making good things happen for people, Capricorn. Um, leadership. The King of Cups is leadership, but leading from the heart. But there is control in his feelings and his emotions. He has some of the deepest feelings and emotions, but it's controlled. And he doesn't use that to manipulate anyone or to fool himself, right? It's really it's good. It's good energy. Um, I'm going to pull one more card. Like, I just feel like the messages for you are very personal. And this is how to get it. It's like a little step-by-step -step here. Is to go into this lower world. And it's not necessary. It's not. You can't. You can't reach these messages doing shadow work on yourself. Like out here in the sun and in your living room. It's, it's the shadow waste shadowy areas on earth please don't go into a dark alley don't do that. <laughs> that's not the kind of place i'm talking about like this is in nature this is in nature it's safe don't um i'm not familiar with central park i as a personal experience i just i just don't go and do any place that is not going to be safe <laughs> please don't where you know you're safe, you feel, you recognize the vibration, it's cool, it's damp, it's dank, it's different, um, but it's safe. But the vibration is different, so thing, not, not a lot of things, not a lot of birds are there. You know, you've walked into places in the forest like that, I felt it. I felt it going into deeper, um, you know, you can walk through uh, a deciduous section of forest, maybe it's, it's maple trees and oak trees, and then you're in um, a very cedary area and lots of cedar, lots of natural cedar, and it might be a lower ground, it's damper, it's cool, and all of a sudden, I, you know, the bird sound is gone. It's just like that, right? But more density because it's in the forest and the moss and the, the cedar, the waxy cedar leaves absorb any sound that's around. Very trippy. I was just being silent there to, you know, to kind of get you the idea, the energy of what it is you want. And if you know, if you go into the water, the water is one of my favorite places to go into and to dive down because it leaves everything behind. It's like that silence. 
Yeah, that's that's where they are. That's where these spirit guides are waiting to connect with you. Final card, a final card from the tarot. Oh, and the world. Yep. Two, two messages coming in here with this world card. The first is absolutely, it is connecting on earth, the world. So wherever you are in the world, it is connecting in nature in those darker areas. That silence, that lack of uh, biodiversity almost too. You know, you walk into a cedar forest and they're so dense that there are a lot, no other trees have been able to grow around them. That's it. It's like, because it is, um, it's monoculture in nature's own way of doing it. There isn't a lot of biodiversity, so it's quiet. Okay. And the world is, because you're here to save the world. <laughs> Come on, get on with it, Capricorn. <laughs> save the world now already, okay? Ah. So okay, the journey of love. The journey of love is the oracle deck I'm pulling for you. Final message. Final message from the ancient ones to Capricorn through the journey of love. A final message to Capricorn from the Ancient Ones through the Journey of Love tarot deck, if they can come through. I feel like it's your other spirit guide, so maybe not. Maybe that's not good, because it does feel like the Ancient Ones are in the lower world right now. All right, final message from these guys. <laughs> Let's get a final message from these guys who you've just, like, you're not answered the phone. Eh, we can't get through. There's too much static around Capricorn. Final message from them. Final message from the spirit guides, from your vision quest energy that you are exiting from. There we go. Look, like three cards came out. They're the only ones that are able to get a little bit through to you right now. Oh, whoa. Wow. Three cards. These are interesting. Sacred Convergence. Wow, I'm going to read out of the book for you on these. Oh, come on, focus on it. Look at all of that energy. Doesn't that look like? It looks like, too, I'm getting the message, like, as each one of you, Capricorn, go into these spaces, commune with, with Earth and ancient spirit guides, you almost will feel each other's energy. It's just so crazy. It's so crazy. And then sweet soul rising. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is just explain. You don't need to explain this. Do we need to explain this at all? Sweet soul rising. Oh, yeah. Woo, read the story. Let the feminine lead the way. The feminine is Gaia, is Earth. I feel that she's she's really been coming out like the soul energy of the Earth. Gaia has been coming out quite a bit in these readings this week. And here's the last card and here she is. And that's your connection. That is your connection to the ancient ones and what, what you want to really be doing. To feel it, to sense what you should be doing here in this experience on Earth. Oh, yeah. 28. Let's go to the first one, which was Sacred Convergence. This is such a neat card. Okay, so what this oracle holds for you is what I want to read on it. Okay. This oracle holds a message for you. A deeper part of yourself is calling you forward. Any discontent, struggle, anxiety, or fear is a subconscious recognition on this, of this. Don't worry, you are a unique plant in the divine garden. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, this is a return to Eden sort of energy. See, everyone looks for Eden in the most beautiful places. No, 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 no. Eden is being held and kept in a sacred energy that is very... The best place to put it is where everyone's afraid to go, right? Huh. <laughs> Don't worry, you're unique. Yep. You don't have to know what plant you are in order to grow. You just need to live each day and the growth happens naturally. Then you can see over time the beauty of your true nature revealing itself to you. It will be a revelation to be relished. Oh my goodness, that is wicked. All right, soul rising. <laughs> Absorb that while I move on to soul rising. Sweet soul rising, not just your soul, your sweet soul. we go sweet soul rising this oracle brings you guidance now surrender and flow this is not the time to assert your will and try to make things happen no matter how much you want to or believe that you should 
This is something bigger happening and everything is going to turn out perfectly according to a far larger plan that includes your well-being too. It's okay, be loved, beloved. Sometimes we have to let go of our expectations about how that bigger plan will be achieved and just let it happen. Trusting that it will act actually take place even without us striving to make it so. This is one of those times. Ooh la la. You just go out. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Don't even put in the comments. Oh, I know what this is. I know what's happening. I don't know. Release that. Release that. I don't think any of us know what's going on with you guys. This is pretty secretive. Yeah. Let the feminine lead the way. Number 39. The last word from Mother Earth. This oracle brings confirmation that to you that what you have been feeling or sensing, even without any logical physical evidence, is worth following up on. Trust your senses over appearances. Trust your intuition over your intellect. You are letting feminine wisdom guide you and she will steer you in the best direction. I'm going to read, because it's the last word from Mother Earth, it's like a little tiny poem. It's really short. My coming out is the freedom to fully be who I am and the surrender to the divine essence expressing through and around me. My coming out is the marriage of twin souls with my life partner in gratitude, in love, unfolding as more than we could ever be on our own. Well, that's really beautiful. God, never had anyone write me a poem like that. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. There you go. That was a spectacular way to end this week. We're going to keep doing spiritual readings. I'm going to do different oracles, so it's going to keep bringing different messages. And that was an interesting one. I like that. I'm going to watch that one myself. I'm going to try to find you guys in the woods. <laughs> okay? Thank you, Capricorn, for allowing me to do that reading for you. And I'm going to go back and watch and see what the heck the camera is starting to focus on over there. Okay, guys, have a great week and be gentle with yourselves. Bye.